G'day, welcome back to Jazz Beer Reviews. Welcome to the new subscribers to this channel. Uh, a shout out to me mates here on the uh, in our punting group there as well. Jace, the Maccas, and Daz. Righto, what we got? Holston Premium. Kindly sent to me in the uh, Swill and Grog beer mail. I've drank the non-alcoholic version uh, on and off over the years. Uh, when it's a decent price now, it's got uh, pretty expensive, like all of them, I don't know why. But um, there should be the alcohol tax, should there? Anyway, it's a zero. But the Holston NA was pretty good. Um, very good for summer, and you know, better for you than soft drinks, the way I always looked at it. Now, it's 4.5% uh, ABV, and this is a 500ml can, I believe. Um, it's sprued in Hamburg, Germany. Just trying to think, I reckon possibly, I think it's where uh, Conrad came from, Conrad Kuhn. Uh, i done a uh, home brewer bags of Conrad's Kolsch, but um, I think he was from around there somewhere. Righto, pouring it out here, this looks absolutely dynamic in the glass. Pretty much been drinking dark beers, and if you saw the other boys, a beer mail, um, booze reviews, and then you got Hefts and Swill and Grog sending them beer mail, they're all pretty much dark beers because I've been drinking a lot of dark beers. But this is probably the brightest one I've had for a while. Um, yeah, it's got like a slight, uh, could be wrong, but it looks like a slight chill haze to it, but plenty of carbonation, and it is a straw colour. You got, uh, it looks like straw from here. This time of night, um, one fring of head, very white, very tight, it looks like it'll hang around. Alright, the aroma. Ooh, I smell it's very German. Immediately, it kind of reminds me of something like the Lombrau. Uh, Lombrau uh, Lager, they used to sell there at uh, Dan Murphy's for years. It was about, what was it, 5.1 or 5.4? Uh, that kind of aroma. But uh, it smells pretty darn good. So uh, let's get into it. Big cheers is all and a cheers to Swill and Grog and cheers to all my new subscribers and all the subscribers have been hanging in all these years. Let's get into it. Yeah, that is a German beer in a glass. Germany all over. I feel like I'm in Hamburg. It's just, uh, it's got a, like a, a light sweetness. It's got a light bitterness. Uh, bitterness is there, but it's not as much as some of the pills and the German pills. It's, it's held back a little bit. A bit lighter on the, um, the bittering uh, extract. To me, there is some, somewhat a breadiness to the beer as well. Matching that bit of light sweetness and that light bitterness. All in all, a nice, a light drinking German lager. Absolutely uh, delightful. Look at that lace in the glass. Now these aren't a headmaster glass, so there's only one beer I've got that will um, help keep a head, and it's not being used. One glass will help keep a head, but um, most of these will show you how they're going. And look at that, look at that lacing. That is quality. So I imagine this is all mold because it's a German lager. And most of them do still keep to the um, uh, no adjuncts in their beer, as their purity law was back in 15, 16. <sighs> Yes, uh, would, this would be, I feel like I'm wasting a bit, this would pair well with uh, potatoes, pork, schnitzels, uh, go something good, actually I make this uh, a pork schnitzel uh, with a little bit of garlic, and uh, so it's always easy to cook and so tasty. Um, this would pair really well and that with uh, some maple oak, like a, like a potato bake, uh, potato with uh, you know, uh, cream, 
cheese on the side dish, and maybe some you know, some greens matched with a little bit of butter on them because uh, it's Germany, you need butter, and we all love butter. Who doesn't? And uh, this beer would pair so well, and it, it just it just wash it down and uh, really make it delightful. I'm trying to paint a picture here. This is an outstanding beer. I'm going to score this an outstanding lager. I like the non-alcoholic version, and by Joe, I like this version. I really do. Swill and Grog did hint to me that I would like this, and he's not wrong. The Holston Premium. It's what I want. It's what I want. This is this is what I want. Like I say, that's this will pair really well. It's just what what's the negative in it? There's no negative. It's a well-made beer, and it's a obviously a macro beer for Holston. But like I said, I like the non-alcoholic version, and this has not let me down. Some beers have let me down. I've liked the non-alcoholic version and expecting more, but it's just simplicity in a glass, and the Germans are the masters at it. Righto, an outstanding for the Holston. So big thanks uh, once again to Swill and Grog. You guys have a fantastic week, and we'll be back next time for another Jez Beer Reviews. So you all take care.